But we begin tonight with the state attorney general going after 16 people accused of trying to overturn Michigan's 2020 vote with a fake elector scheme. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. Tonight we're hearing from some of the people now up against felony charges. They were accused of trying to hand the state to Donald Trump after Joe Biden won the election. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass talked to some of the defendants tonight. Both charges were announced around 4 p.m. today, and while what they are alleged to have done, sign this document, that's not a surprise. We've known about this for about two and a half to three years, but at least one of the defendants I contacted today said he was surprised to hear that these charges, eight felonies, were coming from Attorney General Dana Nessel. This plan to reject the will of the voters and undermine democracy was fraudulent and legally baseless. In a recorded address, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel announced charges against 16 people who all signed their names to a document in 2020 alleging to be Michigan's electors for president and vice president, despite results showing Joe Biden won the state by 150,000 votes. That letter said the state's 16 electoral votes would be cast for former president Donald Trump. That was a lie. They weren't the duly elected and qualified electors, and each of the defendants knew it. Nessel alleges the 16 members let covertly in the basement of the Michigan GOP headquarters before eventually trying to enter the state capitol in an attempt to overturn the state's election results. All defendants have been charged with eight felonies each. Well, I'm Brett Cass with Channel 7. One of the defendants is the current Shelby Township clerk, Stan Grot. We caught up with him at tonight's township board meeting. I guess what's your reaction to, to hearing that about the... No comments for you at all. Uh, we are in uh, legal process and whatever it takes us. You haven't gone through the charges yourself or seen exactly what they are yet, is what you're saying? I have no idea what she's uh, uh, filed. Another defendant, 82-year-old John Haggard of Charlevoix, answered when we gave him a call, telling me he doesn't understand why Nestle filed charges and believes it was for publicity. I signed a paper that said uh, Donald Trump won. Uh, I guess she doesn't believe in the First Amendment in order that I can say what I want to say. Other defendants include the current mayor of Wyoming, a city just outside Grand Rapids, and former Michigan Republican Party co-chair, Michonne Maddock. She and all others we contacted did not respond for comment. As a person who runs elections here in the city, is there any problem with facing, you know, election-based charges? I have no comment. Thank you. And Nestle says she has not ruled out charges against other defendants in this case. And the 16 that were charged will be arraigned individually in Ingham County Court. The date has not yet been set. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brett. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson says her office looks forward to fully cooperating with efforts to bring those who violated the law to justice. And Benson also saying, quote, as we prepare for the 2024 presidential election, today's charges are the first in an ongoing effort to not just seek justice for the wrongs of the past, but to ensure they do not happen again.